What's going on guys? Today we're going to fix my... Today we're going to be installing Olin's fork springs. Got them from Hard Racing. Comes with little spacers. We're going to get to it. So I'm just starting off by taking off the wheel assembly. Also taking off the front fender assembly just to get to the forks easier. Then take off your brake caliper assembly as well. Then you're just going to loosen the fork. All right then, did not expect that to happen. That worked out a lot better. Step one, you're gonna to wanna to get a friend. Step two, get them to hold it. Step three, loosen. Thanks friend. So now we're just taking the top apart to get all the fluid out of there. One thing that was weird is it's two different colors. So don't be shocked by that. So a quick detour, uh, we kind of don't have the right tool. I thought we did, but the Kawasaki is a little bit different. So we're heading over to my friend Walker's house right now and he has the tools. So we'll be there in just a second. All right, Walker, fix our So now Walker is just finishing taking off the top. Then he's just getting the excess fluid out that we couldn't get out before. And then he's put a fork clamp on there. This is a special tool, so if you want to do it, you're going to need that clamp. He's using a propane torch. You can also use a heat gun. It's just going to take longer. You're going to need to heat up the fork leg to about 250 degrees to get that Loctite off there. Then just make sure you're really careful when you take it off because you can burn your hand. Clean off that fork tube real nice. You're going to need a 14 millimeter hex tool to take the fork apart right here. Now we're just taking out the stock spring and he's just cleaning the threads with a brass brush. Make sure it's brass. Put in the new spring. Don't forget that spacer. Tighten it all back with that 14 millimeter hex. Put some blue Loctite on there. Recommend blue over red. Try not to make too many jokes when putting it back together. Now he's just trying to use a good amount of force, not too much, and just finish it up by tightening all the top back. Now for this build, I am using five weight Olin's oil. You're going to need 245 milliliters. Now Walker is just putting the oil into the fork itself. He's gonna fill it up to the top before it overflows and then just pump it to make the oil go down. It also helps to stroke it. Now he's just finishing tightening up the top and then testing it out. Back to my house. All right guys, we are back in the shop. Big thank you to Walker again for the help. Definitely uh, need to have those special tools that we talked about, but we're gonna go ahead and throw them on. Uh, it shouldn't take but just a second. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of them in just a second. Put the four tubes in, tighten them up. Hold them while you tighten them. Putting on the caliper, putting the wheel back on. All right, so we went ahead and put on the forks. Justin's also put a zip tie at the bottom right here. I've already tested it out. It's definitely a little bit stiffer, so I'm gonna give it all it's got. Of course, I only weigh like a hundred freaking nothing. So I'm gonna try to push down the zip tie as far as it will go. So that was literally all I had and it did not bottom out at all. Definitely a little bit stiffer. Stiffer. I put uh, five weight in it, not 10 weight or 15 or anything. I just wanted a little bit stiffer. So it's perfect. It's right where I wanted it. The Z125 forks, I liked a whole lot better than the Grom forks because they constantly bottom out. So this feels a lot more like a Z125, maybe a touch stiffer. So if you have a buddy that has a Z125, there's kind of a good comparison. Overall, I think they're going to be really good. Um, definitely check out for a riding video later on and I'll kind of give input as to how it affects me doing wheelies and different things like that. But as for the springs, make sure to check out Hard Racing if you want to get any of this stuff. Hard Racing sells a bunch of stuff, but they're the only company that I've seen that sells these springs. So yeah, I will put a link in the description for this exact spring or fork kit that I've got here. Um, I definitely like it a lot. A little bit stiffer, not too much. Um, again, I'll let you guys know in the reviews 
uh, or videos later on how I think about it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in doing this yourself, know that you're gonna have, have to have a lot of special tools. It's not the hardest job in the world by any means, but you do need a lot of special tools. So definitely wanna let you guys know that. But also if my video didn't explain it that well, Hard Racing also has a video as well. Um, it's like a 25 minute video, so it is a little long, but it's totally, you know, it tells you every single step you need to know. So I kind of watched that beforehand. Uh, but I kind of skipped through it, and that's why I was unprepared with all the little parts. That's another thing. Make sure you have all the necessary parts. So maybe beforehand, you might want to watch their video, see all the fork kit or fork uh, parts that they have to actually grip it, and, you know, like a propane torch and different stuff like that. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out the videos coming up soon where I'm going to be riding it and telling you guys what I think about it. And yeah, I'm super excited. As soon as it gets daylight out, I'm going to be trying this out and letting you guys know what I think. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next week.